How do you know? I'm just, just out of curiosity. Yeah, just... Gareth Porter is an accomplished historian and journalist known for his work specializing in the Middle East. His observations have been sometimes complimentary, other times critical. But lately, he says he's acquired information that substantiates claims that the Iranian government has been duped. There are some ambiguities, or, or I should say anomalies here, uh, that t tell me that this is a probable fake. At the center of the controversy, a two-page document that claims that Iran wants to perform experiments for atomic weapons. The document describes steps to develop and test parts for a neutron initiator, a device that sets up a nuclear explosion. Iranian President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad claims the document is fake and says his country is cooperating with atomic energy officials. At the present time, there is no nuclear issue up for discussion with the six powers. They can jump up and down as much as they like, but the issue is closed. We are working within the legal framework set by the IAEA, and we want to defend our own rights. After an investigation and an interview with a former CIA official, Porter also says the document is a fake. It was first published in the Times of London without referencing a direct source. Theories have swirled around guessing where the information originated. Israel has been very active in an effort to put out information about the Iranian nuclear program, which of course uh, is going to suggest that the Iranians are in the process of trying to get a nuclear weapon, actively pursuing nuclear weapons. Iran is the world's number five oil exporter. It says its uranium enrichment program is designed to create electricity to export more gas and oil. But because of its record nuclear secrecy, the U.S. has said Iran could be planning to expand its nuclear ambitions beyond producing energy. Porter says the concerns of both countries are real. The United States is no longer in the lead uh, in terms of, of really putting the, the maximum pressure on Iran. The Obama administration has sort of shifted ground to some extent, and it's now the Europeans, the UK, and France in particular, along with Israel. The U.S. has set a year-end deadline for a fuel deal that would export Iran's uranium for enrichment. Iran has so far scoffed at the U.S.'s terms. Porter says there will be more news emerging about the tenuous relationship between Iran and the United States as the deadline looms and sanctions hang in the balance. Colin Campbell, Washington.